Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Twisted Paper Studio. How are you? It is, let's see, where are we? Day, day 36 of the 100 Day Craft Project. And today is Palm Sunday. Happy Palm Sunday for those who celebrate it. I'll just wish beautiful blessings to every single one of you that watch my channel, that follow, that have followed along from the beginning, that are here new. Um, welcome to everyone and blessings to all of you. Let me put my pencil back in here so I don't lose it. Let's get started. Um, so we left off yesterday. We're just going to continue working in the bunny book. And we were at the um, little bag here. And I had an idea. Um, because it's Palm Sunday, I figured let's work with my prayer cards. I have prayer cards in my shop. Let me just grab my garbage bin so it's close by. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is just start cutting them out. Um, I have my little trimmer here. Hold on. Ay, ay, ay. I did have it right near me. Okay. So how are all of you? I hope that you are all well and you're enjoying your Sunday. I'm still hanging in there. My sinuses are still, uh, still kicking me in the butt. <laughs> okay. And these are available in my shop. Um, I will put the link below for them. I just figured you would work with them. I haven't worked with them in quite some time. And Easter is coming. Um, there we go. Oh, nope, there we not go. <clears throat> Okay, some of them might be a little bit crooked from the, from how they were, anyway, how they were made back then. They are very old um, prayer cards. And I believe that they, most of them are French. I'll round the corners after. I'm just using the straight edge at the top to get the straight edges when I cut. And then once I get a straight edge, I'll just continue all around. There we go. Now this one. Zero. I'm going to go over and see him later. I have to go pick up my my daughter-in-law has Easter baskets and she wants me to personalize the baskets for the kids. So I have to do that. I really have to work on the kids' books this week and I think I'm going to do that after Merry Monday. I may go ahead and do those off camera or try to film as much as I can of them, especially if I do anything different. But... I want to try to get them done for them for Easter Sunday, which is next Sunday. <laughs> okay, here's that one. Let's do a few more. We'll do, we'll do these last two. <clears throat> this one I'm gonna have to cut by hand because it has some curves and things in it. I mean, I don't have to leave the curves. I could cut them off, but I'll keep them. <clears throat> I'll try to keep them anyway. Okay. 
There we go. And maybe I might take these two. I don't know how many we're going to get done, but I'll try to get a few done. <laughs> I'll try. <coughs> Excuse me. I may have to take a sip of my water here and there. I'm sure you could hear it in my voice that it's uh, kicking my butt, the sinuses. And these have little notches in them, so I'm just cutting them first. And then I'll add the notches in later. Well, I'm not getting. Just a, a sliver off. There we go. I think that's good. One more sliver. There we go. Okay. And then this one. Okay. I'll cut this one by hand and then we'll get started and do do something if you have old cardstock um, this I came up with this this morning <laughs> I thought it would be cute so I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do just let me finish cutting this one out If you have any whites on them <clears throat> left, you could use your anchor or just try to get most of the whites off. Okay, and then this one had whites on it, so let me just remove that. I think I got everywhere. Pretty good. All right. Now, now we need glue. Let me get a glue stick. And then I had some. Hold on, I'm coming. I just have to pull it out. So if you have some cardstock glitter, and I have some silver. And this is left from my old invitation making day, so I have some cardstock with foil on it and some with glitter. And the glitter is not the glitter is uh is very, very thin on there. So it's not it's kind of melted into the paper. It's a very thin sheet of glitter, so it's very fine and just, it's not rough at all. That's the kind of glitter cardstock I am using. However, if you have this heavy type of cardstock, you could also use that, but I don't have any in the, I only have this in the Christmassy type colors. I don't have it in, you know, this is in red, so I guess you could do it in red for Christmas time. Um, but I'm going to use the thinner one that I have. So if you have that, that would work. Or you could use the thicker one. And also, I'll show you another alternative if you don't have foil or glitter. So 
So I have glitter, some more glitter, and some foil. And I think what I'm going to do is just take two, uh, two little strips off here with the big cutter. So I have them available to me. And then I'll put it off my desk. I'm just going to do it at about three inches. And then I can always cut it down from there. So one... And two. Maybe. Maybe I'll make um, one more so I don't have to take the cutter out again. Okay. I'll put this away. And then I have some gold wrapping paper here. It has like a gold foil on it. I figured that might be good. So let me just um, hold on. Here's the cardboard that was from the, um, let me cut that. That was from the packaging for the glitter paper. Uh, we'll just do it at five inches. I'm just trying to make something easier for me to work with so I don't, I can put my big cutter away. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to glue this on here. Maybe I'll leave the cardboard for the back and I'll glue up the right, or no, maybe I'll leave that. So I'm just going to glue this on here, this gold. We'll do that. So in case you don't have any glitter, or you don't have any um, foil, if you have some wrapping paper, you could use that. Oh, this glue. I think I left it open. It's a monstrosity. <laughs> I remember what one of my glues, I saw it open on my desk and I ran and put the cap on, but then I said it looked already dry. Okay, so we'll just put this on there and I'll let it dry for a few minutes while we do the next step. And I wanna say that this is, you know, uh, vintage wrapping paper. <clears throat> I have a lot of different kinds of wrapping paper. so. I'm sure that they have gold foiled wrapping paper <clears throat> or, or in the stores now or gold or you might have gold, something with gold in it. If you do, if you don't, um, you could use a, you know, a gold pen to maybe decorate or you could just print out um, some sort of a if you have cardstock, you can use printed cardstock. Okay, so my next step is, and I'm not going to use this glue. I'm going to use a, this glue. I hope that's better. <laughs> my next step is to put it down onto the... Well, I'm going to pick something to match the colors. So I have pink here, so I might do something with pink. I'll try to anyway. I'm just going to put it on there and give it like a little border. I'm going to be cutting them down. So I'll do this. 
I'm just gonna give it the start of the border, the top and the side. Like that. And then, oh, I didn't get this cornered one, so let me do that. It had rounded corners. I just wanna get those. There we go, and I don't want any white showing. I don't know what I did with my dauber. I do it the old fashioned way. Okay. And now I'm gonna glue this on. Maybe I might skip that one and just let the ink dry a minute. Mm -hmm. Let's put this on the, let's put that on there. I could, yeah, we can do it on there, on the gold one. Could do it on either one. You could do however your eye is pleasing to um, whatever you want. <laughs> I'm just giving you a, a suggestion. So I'm going to match this up in the corner. At the, giving it a little border. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll do the same for her. I've forgotten all about my prayer cards. I love them. They're so beautiful. I have more. I keep forgetting to add them my shop I probably will soon because now it's got me thinking um, how many do I have I collect them for so long okay so all I really did was make a little border I'm moving off camera sorry Let me do, while this is drying, let me do the other one. And then for the foiled ones, you could also do those. So I'll do one on here. And I'll do this one. And this kind of just will get rid of some of your scrapbooking paper, maybe, that you have in your supply. You're not using it. Just give you an idea to use up some of it. <clears throat> Let's do this one. glue on the top and I didn't want to do that but oh well it's okay I'll live okay let me um get the glue off my hands because I'm dealing with the foil and the glitter and I don't want to get glue everywhere so just on one second I'm going to use the hand sanitizer. It gets the glue off. This is a simple project. 
but it's really cute. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. And I bet you this is sort of done now so we can cut from here. So let's let, let's continue to let this dry a moment and we will get from here. I have to straighten this out because it's not straight. So I'll just, I'm going to cut it in half so I can fit it on my cutter first. There we go. And then Let me just take a piece off here. And here. Okay. And then, so now this is a gold foiled card. And maybe we'll put this right on here, like that. I'll do that. Leaving the border, it's the same thing all around. And then shall I put her here? Yeah. Maybe we could put her there. I'm going to put it on this side, leaving a border all around. And then this one I'll put here. It has a little bit of the green all around, and I think it looks pretty on there. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back. We have these le left over, I could still do more. Now I'm gonna go back to the ones that I've, ones that have been drying. And then all I'm gonna do is start cutting. And I'm gonna take, um, A short bit off leaving a border all around like that I'll keep going A little bit crooked. It's okay. There we go. And here's another one. And then if you have punches, you could get decorative on the corners. You can do so many fun things. There we go. And you could save these things to do other. You could put them on your twisted tangles. <laughs> the little glitter on your twisted tangles. And some of these have those, you know, notches and things in them. 
and that's okay. You can make the notches in the glitter or the rounded corners. It's up to you. Or you can leave them square. Oh, they look so cute. Oh my goodness, I just love them. And they just pop them up just a little bit, you know. It's not something that you think to use uh, foil paper and your digitals or glitter paper and your digitals. You just don't think to use it. I really like the foil paper and I definitely love the wallpaper. Well, um, wrapping paper, sorry. I need to go over just a tiny bit more. Darling. adorable a really quick and simple way to like spruce up your prayer cards just a little bit using the glitter and the gold I just love it and you could fill um, so I have the envelope here from the garden the garden um, English garden kit and I figure Let's see if we can put them in there. In some sort of way. A pocket full of prayer cards. <laughs> Okay, let's see, <clears throat> we'll fold this side up, and you can decorate the envelope too, we'll see. And if there's a little white showing, you could use your ink around the edges too. So darling, I just love the printed envelopes with the flowers on them. I'll try to get it straighter. I think I folded this in too much. Okay, hold on, I'll fix it. I'm really sorry, you guys. I'm not quite feeling myself, so I'm not chatty so much. Now I folded it out too much. <clears throat> Go figure. Okay, let me get it this way. Let me get it right on this side first. Let me get a ruler. I could see the fold line in it from when from the original fold there we go
Okay, better. Better. Now it's good. I'm just going to glue it closed. You could glue, glue it closed or leave it open. Leave it so that it opens like that. Oh no, what happened to my glue? Oh goodness. Now we have an envelope. And I can place the little prayer cards in there, some of them, maybe just a few. So cute. And you could do, like I said, you could do something to the corners. Um, I didn't do anything on those. You could seal it closed, maybe with a wax seal. I didn't pull that out, you guys, the wax seal. That would take too much time for me to do, but you could seal it closed with a wax seal. That's fun. You could use some washi tape. Um, let's see. Oh, we didn't cut this one up. Let me do that first. You could also take some stickles and Put it all around. Um, I have some on the side here drying. I'll show you. If you didn't have glitter paper, I took some stickles and put it all around on the foil. Well, that was another one I did. Let me put this on the side to dry because it's not dry yet. And I learned at Christmas time what this stuff does if it touches anything else. <clears throat> it's not fun. Let's go in our, um, pocket. And we can put this little envelope in our pocket now. Um, let's see. Um, I'm trying to look where I have labels. I know I just had them. yesterday. Okay. You know what? I don't know where they went. So I have real stamps here and why don't we just use one? We'll just use a real stamp. Maybe put two stamps on it. So, I'll close it up in the back. It has a pretty stamp there, so maybe I'll just put one below it. A real stamp. <clears throat> maybe I'll get a different one to put on the back. something pink. Lots of blue. Oh, here. And purple. I think I like the purple one. Just put this one on the front. Stamp it up. Just stamp it up. Well, you can even put it on crooked like it was real. <laughs> and then we can close up the back with the stamp since I don't have my wax seal stuff out.
There we go. And then we'll just put this right in the pocket here, like that. Cute. I'm gonna go and take a look at what more stuff I have here. And then I'm gonna ask you to forgive me and kind of let me go early <laughs> because I'm not feeling well. Um, maybe, where should we put that there? Um, let me see, hold on. I don't know what I have here. This is all stuff that we've made together in the 100 Day Craft Project. And then everything in here I've made on my channel. So, oh, look, this is a library pocket. Oh, I like that. Maybe we'll put that there. Um, trying to see. I like that there. We'll put that there. Um. <clears throat> Um, oh, what's this? Oh, maybe we'll put this in here. I think this is Easter light. It wasn't Christmassy. I don't remember. Yes, it's Eastery. So cute. We'll put one of these in here. So we'll put this in the pocket and the envelope of prayer cards and I actually like this right here very much so this library pocket card um, let me just glue the page I'll glue it to the page rather I know I've made these on my channel <clears throat> You just got to look library, vellum library pockets. The vellum pocket on the front is fun because you could see through it. What's on this side? Oh, good. A pocket. So it will be sturdy on both sides then. And you don't have to put it on the center of the page. Um, you could glue two sides and have it become a tuck. But I did go ahead and glue it on the whole page. <laughs> so just stick this in here. And this, this we made together here. Now this pocket is full, and but we need something on. I like, I actually like this on the cover of the bag. I definitely like how the pink and the red go together. So I think I'm just gonna trim it up and put it on there. Um, and this was something that we made quick ephemera with book page. Uh, just gluing it down onto the back of book page. After you've you know, cut it out <laughs> and printed it and cut it out. So it's ready to go for when you want to use it. Like in this case. <laughs> and I think I'm just going to glue around the four sides because it's the bag there. Well, maybe, maybe I'll make it the pocket. So I'll just glue around. Whoopsie two sides and I'll leave the inside open so it could be a little tuck spot for something or the outside since I did it wrong I really wanted to leave the inside open but I did it wrong so it's going to be the outside leaving leaving the inside open 
if you put something in here, if it were to come loose out of the pocket, it wouldn't fall out of the book. It would fall into the book. That would be the purpose of me leaving the inside open. Okay, look how cute. I'm just looking over here to see um, what I have for fussy cuts. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't even take it. Oh, you put him in there. <laughs> I'm going to put him in there. Let's put him in between here. How cute. I'll just leave him loose. How adorable. Okay. And now I'm going to put our envelope of prayer cards in there. And then um, maybe, maybe I won't let this be so bulky. And I will save it to put in this in this pocket here because we need to open this. So I'm just going to cut a tiny bit off the edge to open it because I didn't do that when I made the book. There we go. We'll put this in here. And then... Now we have two little pockets. And what else? Oh yeah, I need to find something for in there. And then I'm gonna say goodbye to you guys. Until tomorrow, it's Merry Monday. I really hope that I will feel better tomorrow for Merry Monday. Um, if not, I might just come on and do a short little video with you like I did today. How about some of these? My little royal animals. This one is cute. And this one. Cute. Oh my gosh, this book is so darling. Okay. Well, blessings to all of you. Um, happy Palm Sunday. And I wanted to finish the book today, but I'm really not... I didn't move quick enough. <laughs> we only have a few more pages. Oh, I guess we could put this in. This was a pocket. And I'm just going to do this side. And leaving the inside. You know, so things don't fall out. That's my reasoning. Boy, oh boy, is this glue coming out weird. Okay, way too much. Don't want it smashing all over the book. Did it anyway. It's okay. And now we need one more thing. We'll put these in here. something a little sm smaller. Oh, well, how about you? <laughs> we'll put this little bunny in here. Cute. Okay. <laughs> now I'll see you guys again tomorrow for Merry Monday. Um, bye for now, my crafting buddies. Have a, a blessed rest of your Sunday. And I'll see you guys again soon. Bye. Thank you for watching.